What the fuck? I got to go. Over time, produced nothing. Thanks mostly to Luongo, who faced 16 San Jose shots and stopped them all. The game then ended midway through the second overtime on a weird one. Sharks distracted, <laughs> wanting a whistle for a puck they believe had gone out of play and back on. It came to Kevin Bieksa at the blue line, and with Anthony Niemi looking to the corner, appealing to the referee, Bieksa bounced a soft shot. Lightning. <laughs> Again, the final score from Rogers Arena in double overtime. The Vancouver Canucks three, the San Jose Sharks two. Vancouver wins the best of seven, four games to one. This is John Shorthouse in Vancouver.
in your mind, that, you know, not that ground or whether he, like his teammates, was appealing for a whistle for the high stick. But in any event, the whistle shouldn't have blown. And Bieksa with the most muffiny shot you'll ever see in your life. Thank goodness he didn't get anything on it. Yeah. <laughs>
a lot made out of this prior to the meeting. Ice cream! Ice cream! be an elite team again next year as we were the last three, four, five years. Uh, we expect to be there. That's the standard we live by. And uh, like I said earlier, our, our task ahead of us is to get our asses back here in, in the conference finals and make good on it. Coach, can you talk about the play of the Sabine line tonight? Because it seemed like a five-on-five. Five. You guys controlled the play, except for when they were on the ice. It seemed like you guys had a hard time getting the puck off of their sticks once they got it into your zone. Well, they were they're very good players. Um, I thought tonight, um, you know, they, the impact that they had on the game may have been the, the, the least um, out of the, the, the five games in the series. I thought we had the puck a lot. I thought we played in their end a lot. I thought we had a lot of shots on goal. They were, without a doubt, the best line. Uh, they're tremendous players. Um, they're so in sync. It's, it's almost uncanny as how they read off of each other and, and obviously Alex Burroughs does a very good job on that line to, to support it. Coach, there, there was a lot of you know, attention before the game on how your team would respond to the situation that found itself in. Not well, in our locker room, there wasn't. Outside. Results aside, are you happy with what you got from your, your team in this situation? From our team today, I was. Um, I know, I, it's, it's hard to find passengers today. in game one, we lose our composure in game two, we get to game four, it's a matter of about four minutes worth of penalties, and now tonight it was bounces, in my opinion, so we got better as the series went on. On the tying goal, did you feel like you got jobbed on the outside? Oh, job is a real good word, it was, uh, it was uh, an icing call that went off, um, I believe it was one of the Sabine shoulders, um, happens real fast um may be hard to catch with the naked eye obviously uh, an error um but there's nothing we're doing about it now
most distracted players on the page that we thought it was out of play or ringing around the board. We've just watched the replay 30 times here in the last five minutes.
here on the Coast Coast Post Game Show. You're going to be our man on the scene. You're going to go out and try to mingle with the folk, aren't you? Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, no, it'll be interesting to see the uh, the vibe in and around downtown Vancouver. want to let you know, let everybody know that the Canucks are officially being given a day off tomorrow. No immediate availability whatsoever. Thursday's schedule will be determined. So, uh, 